Hey guys, Dr. Sean Hashmi here with uh, Kaiser Permanente in Woodland Hills talking to you guys today about how to flush a kidney stone. So this is a very interesting topic. We've talked about kidney stones in the past. Now remember what I always say, size matters when it comes to kidney stones. So what's the magic number you want to keep in mind? Well, four millimeters or less, chances are the stone is going to pass just by itself. So how can you facilitate it? How can you flush it? Drink lots and lots of water. How much water? Well, my rule of thumb is always to drink enough water to make at least two liters of urine per day. Very simple rule. That may mean you have to drink three liters or four liters of water, depending on if it's really hot outside, if you're exercising like crazy, but you want to drink enough to make at least two liters of urine. Always use a strainer because we need to capture the stone. We need to know what type of stone it is so we can help you prevent having future stones in the, in the coming months. So, less than four millimeters passes by itself. If it's greater than four millimeters, you still got to drink a lot of water, but as the size gets larger, it gets harder for it to pass by itself. Your doctor may give you a medication that's an alpha blocker called Tamulosin or Flomax. Flomax can actually facilitate the passage of the stone as long as the stone is definitely less than 10 millimeters. Keep in mind though, if the stone is greater than 10 millimeters, then no, you really cannot flush the kidney stone. It has to come out sometimes surgically. So that may mean shockwave lithotripsy, going in with a ureteroscope, or even using lasers to improve it. Once again, this is Dr. Sean Hashmi talking to you guys today about how to flush a kidney stone. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.